Welcome to our channel, The English Gurukul. In this video, we are going to answer some questions from the chapter Madam Rides the Bus by Vali Kanan. Number 1. What was Vali's favorite pastime? Vali's favorite pastime was to stand in the front doorway of her house and watch what happened in the street outside. Number 2. What was a source of unending joy for Vali? What was her strongest desire? The sight of the bus, filled each time with a new set of passengers, was a source of unending joy for Vali. Her strongest desire was to ride on that bus even if just once. Number 3. What did Vali find out about the bus journey? How did she find out these details? Vali found out that the town was 6 miles from her village. The fare was 30 paise one way and the trip to the town took 45 minutes. On reaching town, if she stayed in her seat and paid another 30 paise, she could return home on the same bus. Over many days and months, Vali listened carefully to conversations between her neighbors and people who regularly used the bus and she also asked a few discreet questions here and there. This way she picked up various small details about the bus journey. Number 4. What do you think Vali was planning to do? Vali was planning to visit the town and then return back by the same bus. She was planning to take the 1 o'clock afternoon bus, reach the town at 1.45 and be back home by about 2.45. Number 1. Why does the conductor call Vali Madam? The conductor calls Vali Madam because she behaved like a grown-up and quickly answered the conductor's questions. Number 2. Why does Vali stand up on the seat? What does she see now? Vali stands up on her seat because she found her view cut off by a canvas blind that covered the lower part of her window. After standing up on her seat, Vali peered and saw the narrow road. The bus was then going along the bank of a canal. On one side, she saw the canal and beyond it palm trees, grassland, distant mountains and a blue, blue sky. On the other side, she saw a deep ditch and then acres and acres of green fields. Number 3. What does Vali tell the elderly man when he calls her a child? When the elderly man calls her a child, Vali tells that there was nobody in the bus who was a child. She said haughtily that she had paid her 30 paise like everyone else. Number 4. Why didn't Vali want to make friends with the elderly woman? Vali didn't want to make friends with the elderly woman because she found her absolutely repulsive. The elderly woman had big holes in her earlobes and ugly earrings in them. Vali could smell the betel nut the woman was chewing and see the betel juice that was threatening to spill over her lips at any moment. Number 1. How did Vali save up money for her first journey? Was it easy for her? Vali had thriftily saved Whatever stray coins came her way, she resisted every temptation to buy peppermints, toys, balloons and the like. And finally, she had saved a total of 60 paise. It had been very difficult, particularly that day at the village fair. But she had resolutely stifled a strong desire to ride the merry-go-round even though she had the money. Number 2. 
What did Vali see on her way that made her laugh? Vali saw a young cow with its tail high in the air. It was running very fast right in the middle of the road in front of the bus. She clapped her hands with glee at this sight. The bus slowed to a crawl and the driver sounded his horn loudly again and again. But the more he honked, the more frightened the animal became and faster it galloped always right in front of the bus. This was very funny to Vali. She laughed and laughed until there were tears in her eyes. Number 3. Why didn't she get off the bus at the bus station? Vali didn't get off the bus at the bus station because she was going back home on that same bus. She then took another 30 paise from her pocket and handed the coins to the conductor. Number 4. Why didn't Vali want to go to the stall and have a drink? What does this tell you about her? Vali didn't want to go to the stall and have a drink because she was afraid to do so. She was only a girl of 8. Moreover, she had saved only 60 paise for the bus fare and didn't have extra money. From this, we can say that Vali was very careful in her journey. She was not tempted by the conductor's offer to bring her a cold drink. Number 1. What was Vali's deepest desire? Find the words and phrases in the story that tell you this. Vali's deepest desire was to ride on a bus even if just once. The words and phrases in the story that tell this are fascinating, overwhelming desire, source of unending joy, stare wistfully. Number 2. How did Vali plan her bus ride? What did she find out about the bus and how did she save up the fare? Over many days and months, Vali listened carefully to conversations between her neighbors and people who regularly used the bus. She also asked a few discreet questions here and there. In this way, she picked up various details about the bus journey. Vali planned that she could take the 1 o'clock afternoon bus, reach the town at 1.45 and be back home by about 2.45. Vali found out that the bus fare was 30 paise one way and the trip to the town took 45 minutes. And on reaching the town, she could return home on the same bus if she paid 30 paise. Vali had thriftily saved whatever stray coins came her way. She resisted every temptation to buy peppermints, toys, balloons and the like and finally she had saved a total of 60 paise. It had been very difficult, particularly that day at the village fair, but she had resolutely stifled a strong desire to ride the merry-go-round even though she had the money. Number 3 what kind of a person is Vali? Vali is a confident little girl. She considers herself a grown-up and was very careful in her journey. She avoided anything that could land her in trouble during her journey. Number 4. Why does the conductor refer to Vali as Madam? The conductor refers to Vali as Madam because she was an 8-year-old girl traveling in the bus all alone and behaved like a grown-up. Number 5. Find the lines in the text which tell you that Vali was enjoying her ride on the bus. Vali enjoyed her ride on the bus. The following lines from the text are evident of the fact. Number 1. Vali clapped her hands with glee. Number 2. Oh, it was all so wonderful. 3. Struck dumb with wonder, Vali gaped at everything. Number 4. Vali wasn't bored in the slightest and greeted everything with the same excitement she had failed the first time.
Number 6. Why does Wali refuse to look out of the window on her way back? Wali refused to look out of the window on her way back because she was saddened by the young cow lying dead by the roadside. Number 7. What does Wali mean when she says, I was just agreeing with what you said about things happening without our knowledge? By this statement, Wali refers to her mother's ignorance about her bus ride to the town and back. Number 8. The author describes the things that Wali sees from an 8-year-old's point of view. Can you find evidence from the text for this statement? In the text, we find incidents where the author describes the young girl being fascinated by watching the bus traveling to the town and back. A mere sight of bus can only be a source of unending joy for the little kid of 8 year old. The author uses colors to give description of the bus. The description of the views are typical of an 8 year old. The joy in seeing a cow running in front of the bus and the sadness in its death are evident that the author describes the things from an 8 year old's point of view. With this we come to the end of our video. Thank you for watching and please subscribe to our channel and keep supporting us.